Hello, everybody out there in the internet. Uh, welcome to Tekken and Buff Save the Universe, episode 34. I'm Chris Adams, the Tekken Master, joined by... Buff 74. You know something, Tekken? Uh, what? Uh, I have the head of a small child um, in my inventory in Skyrim. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know. Oh, I know how it got there. But I tried to get rid of it because who wants a head of a small child half eaten in in your inventory bag, right? So and I so I went and I tried to throw it away, and they said, "Well, you can't get rid of it because it's a quest." And so have, I take it you haven't gotten uh, you haven't gotten to this stage yet. I have not gotten a small half eaten, half -eaten half -eaten child's, eaten child's head. No. Child's head, no. So uh, I, I found a, a lighthouse in the uh, and this is for the PS4, the updated Skyrim, right? So. Uh, I went on there and I just went to a lighthouse. I oh, cool, a lighthouse. And then I went and opened the door and there's a whole bunch of murdered people in there. So the big thing was solve the murder thing. So, okay. So um, I go and I get the key. I find the key, go downstairs in the basement. Cause, and I read their journals. So the journals say, oh, hey, you're doing this. And oh, oh, by the way, oh, there's noises coming from the basement. Okay, I, I get your point now. There's something in the basement. So then I open up, go down the basement. There's this big, long, black worm kind of a thing. Uh, <laughs> a critinin or something, a chitlin or whatever. Uh, all I know, it's dead. That's all I call these animals because after I get my big, uh, my battle axe out, it's, it's done with. So then I go through a big maze and I, and I, chop up more big bugs and then finally I get to the big big bug and uh, and I so I, I stayed out of its way and I shot it with arrows and it, and it gave him uh, electric, electric charge because I had a, a funky uh, funky bow and um, that gives you like 40 uh, 40 uh, electricity when you when you hit him with the stuff right so he dies I go down and I, and I of course I pick out everything that's in there, right? I picked all the loot from the dead animal and there's a half-eaten head. I'm going, what the fuck am I going to do with this thing? And so, um, and so basically I had to, and I don't know how, you know, the game, the game doesn't tell you what you got to do. So I had to Google it. I said, what do I do with this half-eaten head of a kid? And, uh, and so, um, so basically, yeah, so the mother, I found the mother dead. Uh, the one child I can find the hus husband died because he went downstairs in the basement and locked the door behind him and then uh, and then there was uh, and then then the kid one of the, one of the other kids was found the half eaten head so I had to google it and they said oh you take the head and you put it in the lighthouse at the top at the beacon and that's supposed to give you some kind of special power like uh, all right, whatever so up, up I go head in the thing in the brazier and, and I got the special power so no more half-eaten children's heads in my possession. And I'm very proud to say that. For all those people, uh, for all the FBI or, uh, you know, the Canadian version of the FBI, I actually don't have a real uh, half-eaten child's head in my possession. It was just in the game Skyrim. So that's, that's my adventure. And uh, also, uh, I went and I did a, a treasure quest yeah, and I helped this guy because uh, I guess a necromancer went into his uh, family's vault, and and so and so I said, "Can you help me out? Cause I'm a bit of a chicken." That's me paraphrasing. So, so I sent my aunt, my aunt in there, and so one of my things, you sent your aunt in there. He says, "Yeah, well, I felt really bad about it." I said, well, <laughs> "Yeah, exactly." And you're still out here, so I start going and looting through all the stuff, and finally, thankfully, thank you, creators of Skyrim, they turn around and go. He goes, hey, buddy, that's my that's my family stuff you're trying to steal. <laughs> Whoops. And I thought there was gonna be a fight right off the hop with me and him. He goes, Well, since you're helping me with this, you can you can have the you can have whatever you find. I said, I think Bang. I did that one actually. Oh nice, because yeah. I, I, I had that happen too, where it's like I was doing something and it's like I was just like going through the motions of like looting and everything. And then the guy's like, Wait, wait, hey, hey. <laughs> this is yeah, hey, it's like family that's my possession. family stuff. <laughs> He's like, oh, you can and keep it, so whatever. Yeah, exactly. And, um, oh, what else was there? Um, yeah, so I'm at your level now, Tekken, when we call to the, you go through uh, Skyrim and, you, and you're beating everybody, and now you can, like, take, like, five shots from a bear, and you go, huh, okay, and one shot knocks the bear down, right? So that's good. But now I, I can see I'm dealing with more magic. 
more magic and more vampires are now in my life because that's all I'm seeing now is is I'm finding places that have uh, vampires or I'm finding places that have that are more mages and all that that I'm dealing with not the the lower level um, bandits and all that so this is it's going to be interesting going in at least there's a challenge right and that's what I want to see but I I'm 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 enjoying this more than the first time I picked up Skyrim so a win-win for me. I did get that quest done that you told me about the uh, the orb thingy, so I did that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, and, and the woman uh, took you out up in the air and held you and all that. And then, yeah. yeah, how how you how you how do you like the weapon you got? Uh, you I think I gave it to my companion actually, because I was like, this is a good sword, but it needs to be charged all the time, and I don't want to deal with it. So. Hmm. Well, now I found a sword uh, up in in one that takes care of all the undead. It's like it's just a, like a silver long sword, and but it says underneath it, "Hey, this is good for killing the the undead." And I'm like, Pfft. that's what I have to deal with every time I have to go and get one of these dragon calls. So, so it's like it's like a knife through butter. I'm very happy, and it's like a cheap it's a cheap sword, but it's 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 uh, the silver or like so. It's like mm, I'll take that. Thank you. So I'm chopping away at the at everything. So that's good. The thing is, okay, so I'm in this place, and these people are, you know, uh, trapping werewolves, right? So I'm, I'm pretty cool with the werewolves, you know, they're friends, and so, and so, and so they got one locked up, right? A savage werewolf. I said, okay, so if I'm a smart person, if I unlock this cage, the werewolf then will consider me a friend, and then he will attack the people for me, and then I don't have to really do as much. So I open up the cage. And what happens? But he attacks me. I'm like, motherfucker. I said, <laughs> try to chop that werewolf down. It's like, geez, Louise. Yeah, I try to do something nice for, for the animals of, of Skyrim. And I get and I have to chop them up for the beats. Same thing happened. I was in this bandit cave. And then they had this uh, saber-toothed tiger locked up. I said, okay, same idea. Well, let's see. If I let Mr. Sabretooth out, does that mean he'll, he'll go and maybe attack the bandits who caught him? No, he comes right at me. Well, so choppy, choppy. Should have stayed in your cage then. Stay in your cage is my lesson to everybody today. Don't try to do something different. Just stay right in your cage. There you go. So what level are you at now? Uh, I'm in the 30s, and I'm almost at the end, I think, because I got back onto the main, main quest. quest line after going through the list of, like, what is this thing? Well, actually, I was in party chat with somebody, and they were like, oh, well, if it, it's this blah, blah, quest. And I was like, oh, okay, I was doing that one, but then I didn't come back to it, so... Cause I thought it was just like a DLC thing since all the ones I was doing at the beginning just were tied into DLC and I was like, is that just a new DLC? And it had like the same name as like one of the DLCs and I was like, is it just the same thing? So I was like, eh. So I guess I'll look up and see like what it actually added. But um, but yeah, I think I'm kind of towards the end, but then my stream crapped out this morning. So I was like, dang it. So I'll pick it up maybe later today or we'll see. So so what's your, uh, so has your, your views changed on Skyrim since? We last talked. No. You still hate it. I don't hate it. I'm just. It just took. It took too long to get good. Like the, like the, fr- like the going up the hill on the front end of the, end of the game before it like reaches a sweet spot is just like it's too tedious and like not a fun time. So uh, it's like taking a poop in the toilet. You know. You, 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 <laughs> no. You, you that, good, you, that is not a good analogy at all. You good. You good that you you pooped it out and you feel good about it and it doesn't smell. So you're good, and then you just flush it. That's I mean, how that it being said, I do kind of like it more now that I'm, like, leveled up and everything, but it's, like, it took too long to get there. So it's, like, ultimately, that is, like, that is, like, a really big flaw in the game. And I feel like it's, it, it, I, I don't I don't know what it is, man. I don't know why Bethesda games get a pass, because I feel like, you know, it has a lot of things a lot of other games do that get caught out on. And then this game does it, and like nobody says anything. It's like you but go is it into like all the places where you get the words of power or whatever, and they all have very sim, very similar interiors. And it's like, hmm, that's weird because, I mean, all these like my main reference point of like Mass Effect. Because everybody's like, oh, well, all the um, you know, every time you go down to a planet and you go inside a building, it, it looks the same inside. It's like, dude, this game is like, this is I see no difference. It's like, I mean, there are some like unique environments on the interiors, but it's like for the most part. It's very, very palette swappy, samey, samey looking interiors. Okay. Now, when did this game come out originally? I mean, I might think 2012. Well, look it up while we talk. Because my question to you is, are you looking at this 
a game that was maybe in what 2012 are you looking at this with 2020 vision i always look at a game at like at like can hold it i always hold a game up to like whatever is like contemporary or modern i'm not gonna like i can't i can't play and be like oh i wonder what this was like back in the day yeah but but think but thing is like back a in the game. day back in the or, day or not this was the one that the current yeah, this 2011 that's pretty old so you're looking at a game with for that has nine years nine years of people taking that formula and building upon it and making things better and saying okay this worked let's do this now to it so you're looking at a game with nine years of games predecessing it you know going like doing taking it and adding more to it right that's why you have to like grab some maybe these modifications that they now does your game have the mods i or no? i have that version but that's not the one i'm playing because my okay. pc can't handle it so huh. Okay, so anyways, but that's that's the thing, right? I, I'm looking at this at, at saying, wow, this game is pretty good for the time frame it was brought out at, right? And while you're looking at it saying, this game is good, but it's not as good as the games that I have played lately. Like, if you put this up against Witcher, there's no comparison, because Witcher... Yeah, but dude, this game, is, this game was, like, praised to, like, no end. It got, like, and so many Game of the Year awards and just, like, is lauded and... Everybody just like, gushes over Bethesda and just like, or not Bethesda, but like you know that that type of game that they make, and it just like it irritates me to no end that it's like. But the thing is, at the time frame that it was created, it was the bee's knees, as the kids say. It was. Mm, it had everything. I'm playing it now, and it's like you know, if I was playing it yep. then, I like all I all, like the only thing that I get out of that game is like the skill, and there's a lot of crap to do in it. It's like besides that, yeah. that's all. That's all there is. Yeah, and sometimes the you know, something like that is is decent. It's okay. It's not bad. It's not amazing. It's just like middle of the road, average above average range. Like not really, no, nothing to like. For like, now, did, it, did it, you play it, Effie and Skyrim? Oh my gosh, that story is so amazing. Ugh. Wow, I won't go that far, but I because be honest, I'm I love going. I I just love touring the world <sighs> and seeing what comes up. Right, me and me and my me and my hoochie. Or traveling in the world. Uh, who's your companion, by the way? Um, well, I have two now, but um, I started off and I had the the Thane, or not the Thane, but like when I came, I became the Thane of the white, white, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> the um, the white run, right? White run, I think the first, the yeah, first sure. village or the first city that you yeah. go to with the Jarl dude. Yeah. And the uh, and the um, but yeah, that that person, that lady, that was my first companion because i was like the thing of that dude um and then um let's see and then i somehow like was just r doing random stuff like i said and just like I, apparently i like stumbled upon like the the vampire dlc and then like the vampire lady came or like i came across the vampire lady and i was like ooh vampire lady so it's like i swapped her in and then um yeah yeah get yeah, lost hoochie i'm <laughs> grabbing the vampire and then i did that quest with the oh wait, no that's a different quest i did i did another quest with like another daedric artifact and then um some like the follower of that specific daedra was like oh you've guardian you're the you're the chosen one blah blah, blah or something like that something to that effect is, but like not, is not it, that's is not that, what i said is, but is that the I, star hmm is that the star it's star shaped, so yeah. Yeah, I did I, I the mission last night, so. Because it was like the one where it's like the two people, and you can either get it fixed, or you can just get. Well, I didn't know what was going to yeah. happen, but I ended up going inside of it and then cleansing it. Yeah. So I don't know what happens if you like do the other thing, but. No, um, I didn't either. I, w I went and I cleansed it too, but that that since since I leveled up, that was the hardest thing that I that I could that I was able. I have died like four times trying to beat that guy. And, the, and then finally I just jumped over everybody and just hacked them with my thing. It was over in like two seconds. Like, yay! But yeah, that lady is also my companions, and I have two companions. And I'm not sure if my game's glitched out because it like wouldn't let me do that before, but I don't care. So I have two people following me, which is nice. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, a lucky dog. Two chicks. That's good. I think, that, I think that's just tech and luck right there. There you go. So anyways... So that was uh, so yeah so I'm I'm enjoying it for the game that it is and knowing that it's nine years old, and you are uh, 
surviving this game. And then knowing also, the thing is, like, when I play a game, it's not up to the standards like, of 2020. It's like, it, it, I, I, I play a game and I let it speak, it speak for itself on, like, whatever, like, whatever its pros and cons are. And then I, like, just go with it. And it's like, you know, and, like, I'll, I'll give it, I'll give the take of, like, whatever, what I thought of it. But, like, you know, I mean, am I enjoying the game? I am now, like, after xyz hours but it took xyz hours for that to happen and like Mm -hmm. the game to like Mm -hmm. finally like hit its stride of like the gameplay loop but and like i was okay i will say like yeah is is a good game after that time yes but it's like up to that point i was not enjoying it and it's like you know that's that's something i would say if i was recommending to somebody i was like well in the beginning it's gonna take a while to like get good unless you're just like really into like high fantasy stuff and you like really really like dragons if you're you're really into that stuff you're gonna enjoy it because it's like it's got like that that's the like that's the world of uh, Skyrim, because it's you know to a bunch of uh, lizard people, elves, humans, yeah. dragons, giants, riding on horseback. Well, it takes, costs like a thousand gold, so you're not going to be doing that for a while. So, uh, have you? And um, then the, the, the combat is just so garbage, though. It's just like ah, I don't. That's the other thing I don't get is like, how could you play or how could you like enjoy a game so much if the gameplay is just that bad? It's just like ugh. But in the time frame that it was in, in 2011, it was... No way, dude. It's like, it's, it's like, it is like, that, no, it's like, that is like, at, that is like, there, there are like no games I would cite that are like worse than this game's combat because it just like play it and it's just not fun and it's just like not intuitive and I just don't see what people see when they play it and they're like, oh man, this is great. It's like, actually it's not. It's okay. It is like, like I said, it's okay. It's decent. It's like middle of the road. It's like, but like, probably like on the, on the, I'm more on the side of like, not good, but it's like, eh, it gets the job done. It's like, eh, you know, whatever. So, and it has first person, but it's like, I wouldn't use it because you're kind of stuck using melee weapons in first person and it's not, not the funnest time. So, hmm. yeah. does it work? Mm-hmm. Yes. Is it fun mm-hmm. and good? No. So, yeah. Well, I hope you finish the game soon then because then you can take that game out to your balcony oh, and set it on fire. Oh, I'm looking forward to switching games, dude. I, I kind of already mm-hmm. possibly picked a, a next game. But and, again, what's, and, what, and what's the next possible game? Well, I was thinking I would play Dragon Age Origins, but then it's like, it, it's going to be <laughs> September, and <laughs> September is my Destiny month, so I'm gonna I'm probably not going to because I'll be playing Destiny. So. And you're, and you're Walking Dead month. Oh yeah, Walking Dead. Well, I'm reading Walking Dead. I was gonna play, but then it's like I, I'd rather I gotta get the thing done in Disney first because it's just. Well, why don't you do Fall Guys on your stream? Because that... I don't. It's like I have really no drive to play it. It's like I've done dude, everything there's to do. Dude, dude, here, here's the thing. All right. <laughs> Are you talking like me? That was that impression? Yep. Dude, dude, I'm <laughs> you need talking. More to you enthusiasm. Now. I I, I, I have, have to I, I I have to get to the dude in you. All right, all right, dude. <laughs> all right. You take the thingy, and then, no, I'm just kidding. No, what you got to do, you are a very good player at Fall Guys, right? What do people on stream, uh, when they watch your, your whatever, the website it's called, uh, <laughs> what what's it called again? Twitch. Tor- tw- Twitch? Twitch, Twitch yes, Twitch, yes. Twitch and YouTube. Oh what, do you pe- what do you think people want to watch? Twitch, Discord, I got names of things coming out the wazoo and that's probably a site too wazoo you know but <laughs> if it's not we gotta make that website wazoo you know we got things coming out of the wazoo there you go see that's even the that's even the thing we just wazoo it'd be like another reddit right there wazoo write that down anyways we have stuff coming right out the wazoo right out of wazoo anyway so um people want to watch a stream of somebody who is very good at playing a certain game. They don't want to... It's, it's, I think it's a twofold. I think if I went on Twitch and played Fall Guys, I think I would get a following because I would lose all the time. And people want to see that too. But you're very good at what you do. And I think if you played Fall Guys, all right, you would get a lot of people watching your stuff. And I think you should... I think ne- this week... Starting this week, I think you should take a break from Skyrim and just play Fall Guys for just for a week, you know, and just show. And I bet you, I bet you, and you know, I've been right about something about you, right? So uh, when it comes to Fall Guys, that if you played Fall Guys for a week on Twitch, that you would get a lot of people watching you. It's the hottest game in the market, mm, and you, that. it's the hottest game out there right now, and you're the best player. At the hottest game, I am game. not the best nah. at that game. Listen, I am okay. 
you are in the I, okay. I'm going to throw a percentage. I don't at say you, I'm good, right? so I'm, I'm going to say I'm okay. But it's okay, good. fine. I'm going to throw a percentage out there. I'm going to throw a percentage out there at you. Okay. Ninety mm-hmm. percent. You're in the top. You're you you're the ten percent. You're in that top ten percent of of players that are very good at this game. Would you agree with me on that? Uh, I mean, there's no stats, so I can't know. Just. If you look at what you have right now compared to other people, <laughs> okay, I, think, I guess going off of that, like yeah, thank you. Crowns, thank you. Know. Now don't compare about me, <laughs> then you, then you're the hunt in your top one uh, percent. But if you go, if you if you, but the thing is, you go on Twitch, you play this game, and and I bet you, even just play it for one day. Do me a favor. That's my homework for you. All right, since you don't do my homework that I send you anyways, play that for one day, Fall Guys, and I bet you. You'll have more people watching you than they've ever watched you before. This is a great launching ground for you to play a game. People get to know Tekken. You gotta, you gotta throw a little uh, dialogue in there too, and then, and then I bet you people will follow you into the next game you play. They will go back and follow you on Skyrim. They will go and follow you on Sushi. They will go and follow you on whatever game you're playing now. What was it, Fisherman or whatever it was? Fisherman, the, what? What was the new game you're, you told Hyper me you were playing? Drifter. Oh, hyper hyperland Fisher drifter. man, what the f? I don't know. I'm sleepy. Anyways, <laughs> I ran 10k today. How are you? Anyways, so there you go. So, high plains drifter. They'll follow you on that because it's a brand new game. <laughs> All right. Oh my so, and then when Fisherman does come out, which you, I'm telling you now, go create it since you're there. Then you can, bam, do that. You know, it's you not- you have a chance to get a following. Get the followings, play the hottest game because you're very good at it. Play it, and I bet you, I bet you. And if I'm wrong, I'll shave my beard off. How's that? <laughs> there you go. I I mean, eh, what, what day is it? Today is uh... it's Thursday. Start tonight. Put on stream tonight with the gap thing. It's a great. I only stream it every week. Good. Well, then keep streaming it, and then it'll be uh, fantastic. And then just do do a Friday. Oh, no, I can't do Friday. Everybody's good. The, the, the sensation sweep in the nation. Everybody's golf, absolutely. But um, but do me a favor. Saturday, make it a Fall Guys day. Play that, bam, play and I day. bet you. Just play all day. Okay, we'll see. I, I doubt that's going to happen, but we'll see. Well, give give it a shot. Do, do you know, uh, like, the best target time on Twitch that people watch, I would I say probably. No okay, because I you'd think okay, North America it'd be in the evening, right? But then you have to deal with other parts of the world that are uh, that are twitching now. And, and like, is it uh, regional twitches or can you watch somebody from Japan you play? Someone, you can watch internationally. It's not okay. it's not region locked. <laughs> okay, so that that's my next question: is okay, you, do you concentrate to the North American crowd or do you try to the international crowd? Because the international crowd is bigger, perhaps, right? So it's interesting. You have to look at that. But I say Saturday, make it a Fall Guys day uh, before your uh, Dungeons and Dragons, and then you're all set. I was going to say that. I was, I was going to say I've also been playing Dungeons and Dragons, but it's not a, a video game. It's a, a uh, tabletop game. So hmm. Yeah, so, so how are you enjoying that? I'm loving it. It's a fun time. It is very mm-hmm. interesting. I've always wanted to try it. So it's nice and- to actually finally get to do it with friends. And so you're a le- level five uh, vegan? Is I, that what you are? Whatever, dude. I'm a level three monk. Thank you very much. Level three monk. Oh, there's my alarm going off saying I got to get on the phone with you. Don't worry about that. I right, turn that off. I, I said to myself this morning, I said, no, I'm going to forget about it. <laughs> I got to put the alarm on to make sure I get on there in time. And then he calls me an hour early. So you come on. Okay, we'll do it now then. Uh, so you're level three monk. Uh, have you so so when you first started you're a level zero monk right uh level one you started level one so you have progressed okay good and, and you're still playing the same story you're just progressing along yeah okay and and so and so where where did, where did you let la- where did you leave off we left off where there was this dude named mr magpie and then he's apparently some associate of some like cabal of necromancers that have like these rings that are manipulating people we don't know exactly what's going on but then like there's like a you know a situation where like the librarian in the library that we're in knew more than he was laying on and they were trying to get some information out of him but uh he had like this self-destruct 
or, or not, it wasn't self destructoring but it was like, you know, there was like some spell on him or so, there was some shenanigans and essentially he blew up and died. And then Mr. Magpie was like, oh, hmm, who has uh, been poking around for information? Hmm, well, here I am. And that's that's where it left off. Uh, so how long does it take for you guys to do your Dungeons and Dragons? Like, it was two hours? We, or? Just, we just play until someone has to leave. So there's no so, how, so how long was the last game? Uh, like four hours, I want to say. Holy it's usually, cow. It's usually a couple hours. So you, this is week three coming up? Uh, week f- four. We had a zero session where like we just learned how to play because some of us have never played before. And then we had... Uh, yeah, this next session is going to be the fourth one. And then, uh, yeah, after the, after the zero session where we just set up our characters and then just took, like, had like a tutorial uh, fighting rats in the basement of an inn session. We actually had an ac- oh, actual nice. adventure the week after that, and then we just kept going. And oh, then, then I'm looking at the time, and yeah, it's been uh, three hours the first one, the second one's almost four hours, and the third one was four and a half hours. Wow, it's getting, people are getting involved. So where, what was your best play? What was the best What was the best uh, dice roll that you'd had in, so far in your uh, gameplay abilities? Um, well, I'm, okay, so you mean like when, when I did something that actually <laughs> mattered, right? Yes. Okay. I've gotten a de- I've, I've gotten a decent amount of kills. I guess my best one. Oh, I'm trying to remember because I don't think I killed the. I don't think I killed the second in command on the Guy Fieri ball fight. But if I did, it was that one. Did you say the Guy Fieri? Guy Fieri ball. It was this entire, with with like the bottom half horse, top half Guy Fieri, with like <laughs> other features. <laughs> That's the other thing I like about this game is like you can just like make whatever the f up, dude, and just like do yeah. it in the game, and it's like boom, it exists. It's a thing. Well, there you go. Perfect. Okay, so so what was your best round? You didn't kill the guy, but it was it was close. I mean, I probably I don't remember. I've had like a bunch of kills, and like it would if you're going for my air quote best roll, it would be that. I mean, unless like when I got initiative, because I don't think I've had a d twenty outside of when I rolled for initiative. So it's like. And then, like, that's the other thing, is, like, you can only, like, you can't roll, you can't roll higher than a 20, so it's, like, 20 is, like, the highest you can do, and it's, like, the best, uh, or, like, that's when you want to go for, because that's critical hit, essentially, when you get 20, and it's, like, oh, okay. But then, but then also, like, uh, depending on, like, what you're doing, you get, like, whatever you roll, plus whatever, for, like, whatever your turn, or whatever you're doing on that turn, like, if you're attacking or if you're doing something else. So it depends on, like, what you're doing. But usually it's, like, a 20, and then you'll get, like, plus whatever on top of that. Or, well, not, actually, that's not how we do crits, but, like, you know, whatever. So, D20 is, like, the best, but it's, like, I've only got... Mm-hmm. In my brain, I can only remember getting one off the top of my head, because it, but like, it was, like, there's an initiative roll, which is just, like, that's just, like, that just determines, like, who goes in, like, the order of the turns. Like, if you're playing, like, Final Fantasy or whatever, it's, like, that just determines the turn order of the characters. So, that meant I got to go first, so yay. But that was not really, like, I didn't get to, like, it wasn't an attack or anything, so I didn't, like, kill anybody. So, it's, like, you know, it wasn't anything f- flashy or awesome. <laughs> okay, so uh, so since you started playing the High Plains Drifter game, how, this is news to me. So how are you enjoying it so far? I already finished it. It was good. It was it was solid. It was nice. Um, at first I was like, oh well, not at first. At first I really liked it because it's like a cool art style and very interesting. But then like after the first time I played it, and then I like went back to it, and the, I like you know I was going through the areas in the environments because it's, it's a it's a very Zelda similar Zelda game. Um, but I was, like, kind of, like, not sure where to go next and, like, losing my place and just, like, kind of getting frustrated because I was, like, I don't know if I'm going in the right direction. I kind of, like, a very... I mean, I still made th- made it through, so I was, like, okay, well, that was that was nice. I didn't have to, like, look up anything or try to try to figure things out. And then I had, like, a really cool final boss ending sequence. And it was just, it was just like, it's just a nice, nice all-around game. It was very, very, you yeah, know, the art style, the soundtrack, character design, everything about it was very neat very small indie or I guess it was a Kickstarter game because there's like a because I got to the credits and it was like 25,000 or 20 I want to say 25,000 or 20 something thousand people backed it and they're all in the credits it's a very long credit roll and uh I, I very much enjoyed it because it was like it's very stylish thick because you get like a sword you get these cool dash attacks like in a Japanese game and then you get like a, a projectile weapon that you can upgrade or switch between well not upgrade but you get multiple versions or not multiple versions, but you get like multiple weapons that you can choose for your projectile. You have like the pistol, 
you've got the shotgun and you've got the uh it's a real gun but i thought it was like a snap rifle but apparently it's a real gun and the shotgun was like super super duper helpful in the later sections so i, I very much enjoyed that <laughs> no, that's good so when you look back at it in nine years uh what are you gonna think about it or are you even gonna think about it uh i mean it was a nice small zelda like game it wasn't like a full a fully fleshed out you know like days or yeah like the time it took to like you know play through it was not as like involved or intense as like a, a zelda game it was just like it was a nice it was a nice appetizer adventure game so that's what i think about that game and it was like visually it will it, I won't remember it because visually it's just very, you know, it stands out. It's not something you see every day. Like the pixel art style it has in it is very refreshing and and uh, it's really good. Like if you look at all the, the sprites in it, like it's really well designed and or they're really well drawn, I should say. Like all the all the art's amazing. It just like makes me look, wish I could draw things and not be like you know com- completely unskilled human. But uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a fun ride. There you go. Excellent. So, uh, what else have you been doing, gaming wise or uh, comic book wise? Oh, I've never read any comics since last time, so just uh, went, and that's it. Tekken, how are you saving the world by way of comic books or uh, video games? What do you mean? Well, have you saved the world lately, or the universe? Uh, Hyperlight Drifter, I saved the construct. It was weird. It's that's a, that's your thing. That game's like very trippy as far as like the story. It's like never really, you never really like told like what's happening. You only have like an idea because it's very um, what's that? Word? Implicit storytelling. It's like it doesn't exactly tell you what what is happening. It's very open interpretation. I, I enjoyed that though. I I, I liked it. So that's good. Uh, I got a chance for myself to read a couple of books this week. Uh, number one being uh, the deceased deceased uh, hope at world's end, uh, the DC's version of zombies. It was very nice. Uh, it, this one was the animal issue. So you had the uh, detective chimp. And uh, saving saving people and uh, and from the infected, it was very nice. It was very nice because Detective Chimp could talk to the dogs, and the dogs talked to talk to Detective Chimp. So it was very nice. So you saw Ace the Bad Hound and uh, and uh, the Super Dog, of course, Comet, Comet the Horse, and all that. So that was very nice. So it, it was nice. It was a nice. It was a nice single issue story. That's for sure. It was nice, breezy. It felt good. Um, but the big book this week was, of course, uh, Batman, the, the Three Jokers, which you get to see. Uh, this has been teased for years now uh, that there's actually three Jokers instead of just one. And so it tells the story. And, of course, this is uh, not in continuity. So it's like, OK, uh, it's it's a little different story, but it's a very good read. Uh, and the artwork by Jason Fabok, uh, I have loved that man's art for so long. He reminds me of Gary Frank. And uh, that's the highest compliment I can ever give to somebody. Uh, very, very beautiful issue. It's it was a very good read for sure. Uh, besides that, um, very impressed with Daredevil. Continue to be as he pushes his storyline along. Uh, at, le- at least some it's something that's the same, but it, it is it's going in a little different direction than it has been. So that's very good. And so yeah, that's what I've been enjoying. So. Um, and you haven't read anything, so that's good. Uh, have you watched anything? Have yeah, you gone on a Netflix? Oh, no, well, no, I haven't. I kept, I kept having that itch where I was like, you know, I could watch this, and then I didn't watch anything. So, no. Mm. That's okay. Actually, oh wait, I, I did watch something. I watched a uh, docu series on Netflix called High Score. It was pretty, it was pretty good. It was about, um, it was like it starts at basically like the pre arcade age, and goes from like pre arcade age to like 90s like mid mid to late 90s like 96 97 and it's basically just following games and like people that played them competitively in that time and like what the scene was like it's very cool it's very it's very well done a lot of good uh good uh what's that word called (laughs) i can't think of the name like file footage i guess when it's like you know stuff from the era and like you yeah. see it, and it's like because there's like a there's like Orange, Orange Julius in Atlantis Castle. I was like, oh man, that makes me want some Orange Julius and go to Atlantis Castle, but those don't exist anymore. So, hmm, sad face. Oh really? No, they don't exist in your COVID land, <laughs> but but they're still out there somewhere. I mean, I know there's like one Atlantis Castle because I saw it on Twitter. I don't know about Orange yeah. Julius. 
Orange Julius is still alive. I actually, oh. last time I went, went to Grand Bend, we went and, uh, to see the sunset. Uh, they have a, they merged with uh, Dairy Queen, right? So therefore you can get a hot dog there from Orange Julius or some of that extent, right? So uh, yeah, so it's still around. So once this COVID thing is over in 20 years, you can go out and have yourself an Orange Julius. And then it made me like, every episode like had an episode like name, but it made like, watching it i would watch it and be like if i was going to name this i would rename this 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 this, this yeah, wow this name because there's like an episode about uh, I don't, okay i'm trying to think because i don't remember like the first couple because it's whatever but then like they got to like the rpg section where it's like adventure games and rpgs which is weird because it's like that's your thing is like not everything is about like competitive whatever whatever every episode i mean there's probably like a part where they talk about it but it's like it's, it's kind of like not not as focused as it could be i feel like i feel like if they took out like the whole competitive part, it could just be like a good docu series about like the, the chronological like advancement of technology in games and stuff. I thought that was like a really cool like the way that they like approach it because like they start like they start in the seventies, right? Because that's like when arcades or whatever. But then it ends in the nineties, so you have like these twenty years of like seeing like the technological arc of like how things pro- progressed and advanced. And I thought it was also cool because like you know when it got like later on, even though those games were like when I was a kid it's like I kind of like wonder if people like that are playing games now like have ever played those or like how they would like feel watching this documentary to like see how probably like to them it looks like very archaic and like ancient like the graphics and everything but like back in the day dude Song of the Hedgehog was amazing and it's like you know just like th- that's the thing I like I like about it is like you know you have like the Atari, Atari age stuff which to me is like I've, I've played an Atari and stuff but it's like I look at that stuff and it's like looks dated but it's like you know it, I I remember like playing that as a kid, but it's like I never thought it was like I, I like in my brain I was like well as a kid so I, like, I didn't like think you know oh this is amazing but like I, it was like it, like you didn't have anything else so it's like you know at that like like nin, nin, like a Nintendo and like that was it but then it's like you know to come like <laughs> what we have now comparing it to that it's like you I wonder I wonder if people can like appreciate you know like you know you you don't know how good you have it you know I'm guess that's what I'm trying to say is um just like you know it's like you look at that and it's just like that doesn't compare at all to like Fall Guys. It's just or like you know Mass Effect or Witcher Three. It's just I look at that stuff and I'm just like, dude, how how do we get from there to here? And that's it. And then the cool part is like they go to like EA because there's this um competitive Madden player and so like you get to see like the early days of Madden, which was like back when I played it and like I was looking at it and like all I could see was like just the stuff that like was not in the game when it was like super old and it's just like man, they didn't even have like the crowd. <laughs> In like the end zones and some of the <laughs> early versions, it's just like, mm-hmm. dude, that is so crazy. Oh, it was, it was great. Yeah. I, I very much enjoyed it. It touched it touched me in my heart because I was like, ah, oh, it's is is like a good game documentary. Like those are very few and far in between. And it's just like to see one on Netflix. And it's like an original. So I can just like recommend it to people and they gotta check it out because it was pretty good. Very good. Well, I'll do, I will definitely do that. So I got a question for you. Okay. You were born in the 90s, right? 80s, dude. 80s? Okay. Is Was there an old-timey video game? Not the system, but like one of the old uh, uh, consoles. Like not consoles, but one of the old video game machines, right? That you see in the arcades. Was there one game that you wish could be brought back and played on, say, a PlayStation or a Nintendo or something like that? Oh, dude. Um, man. See, it's weird because like back in the day, I would have said Samurai Showdown, but like they did Samurai Showdown, so it's it's it exists. It's now they already made a collection, so that's that's the thing. Um, there was see, there's like this one game. I don't know what it's called. It was like one of the first games I ever beat. I think it was um, Magician Lord. I don't know if that's what it's called, but there's a game that's like that game that's not that game. Because I know like I was I I I did, I did post about this in the Game Advisor panel back in the day. I was like, dude, does anybody know this game? And then like uh. I think Joel, Joel, G. Gun- Joel G. Gundam was like, oh, is, is it Magician Lord? And I was like, I don't know. And I looked it up on YouTube and I was like, eh, that's not a Magician Lord. So it's like, it's it's a game like Magician Lord, but it's not Magician Lord. So there, there's that one. And then like the old school King of the Monsters. Like it's basically all the old like SNK games. Like those, I mean, I know they made a compilation. I, I don't know if it's on there, but man, King of the Monsters, back in the day, I love that game. One and two. Or just like the, ah, there's, there's so many. Like there's so many like 2D, like side scrolly games. Like those, like those are my jam, dude. Like back in the day, like, like any, it could be any genre. It could be like shoot 'em up. It could be fighting. It could be beat 'em up. It could be like anything. Like, like it could be uh like the Teenage Mutant Turtle stuff. Like that stuff where you just like go from left to right and you beat, beat the crap out of people. Like the Avengers game. Yeah, the Avengers. Like they should bring back the Avengers game from back in the day where it was like Hawkeye, Iron Man, Captain America, and Vision. I believe were in the game. Mm-hmm. And it was like mm-hmm. a four player. It wasn't like as good as the X Men one because it didn't have like the no. special attack thing. But it was like, 
it was it was that with the Avengers, but it's like I always thought it was like funny that like nobody ever talked about that game because it was like I mean it's not as good, but it's like you know it's whatever, dude. It's like there are no other Avenger games for like for like a long time. I like after that game, and, like that was I enjoyed that one thoroughly. I, I have to agree with you. Uh, nobody ever remembers that Avengers game, and of course, there's a wasp in it. Yep, exactly. There's a whirlwind and typhoon, or not typhoon, or whatever the other the other dude that hangs out with whirlwind. So yeah. Grim Reapers in it, yeah. It's man, it was, yeah. Now I've got the okay. the uh, Avengers game from Square Enix. That's completely super duper more advanced. If you look at it side by side, it's like, how did we get here? <laughs> or just like, yeah, look at look at how much time has gone by. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now, so you you have the beta? I haven't, I haven't played it. I'm not I'm not playing the beta because I just I'm not I'm not I'm just, I'm just gonna wait and see on that one because it's like yeah. I'll you have it. No, I, I don't have. have I don't have. I haven't downloaded the beta. Cause I'm not. I'm not really interested in the game. So I'm just like, eh. It's a. It's a flipping loot games of service with Avengers. I don't know. It, I'm, I don't know. That game just like gives off bad vibes and like red flags as far as like wait and see. Definitely do not like day one that game because. Okay. Yeah. Well, so, uh, what else is new with you today? Today. Well, so you you are going to uh, what? What's your plans? What's your what? What are you, what are you looking at? Is there any new games that are coming out in the near future? Not until November, dude. I mean, there is a game called Little Hope, which I kind of want to get because I like I want to support the developer because well, since... it is tw- it is twenty twenty, so that's apropos for the title. <laughs> oh, that's true. Yeah, but that's like true. they made um, death by on or something well I, i'm blanking on the name that's that's a rarity but like uh until dawn thank you until dawn they developed that it was ps4 exclusive i believe and then they made um recently the man in medan uh there's there's basically an anthology series that are just like that which is essentially it's a, it's every game is basically just like a horror scenario that you play through and it's it's Quantic Dream-ish, to where it's like, you know, you have a cast of characters in a horror game, and you play through, and, and you try to make, or you, or you, well, you just like, well, you play through in like a choice consequence scenario, and like, everybody could die, essentially. So it's like, you know, you could, if you wanted to, kill off the entire cast, or get everybody out alive, or only see, only save like, you know, the couples, or only save the ladies, only save the dudes, or whatever. There's trophy, there's like weird trophies in the game. I was like, I didn't even think about that, but like... <laughs> When I saw the trophy list, <laughs> and so you basically just like play through the scenario of, the, of this of this horror um, thing, and like try to try to see like who you can make it through to the end with, and like make it out alive. And I I just very much enjoy that. So, Little Hope is the next one. Man and Medan was essentially um uh or Man and Medan. I'm trying to think. There's like the, the, the name of the anthology series is like something something pictures, dark pictures anthology. I think. But like Man of the Medan was the first one, and then Little Hope the second one, and then I'm just basically Man of Medan was like you know haunted ship at sea, and then Little Hope mm. is uh is like a a dark night a dark and stormy night in the woods. So I'm interested to see like what the like monster is or like what the whole thing is because every time it's like a different thing. So it, it it's kind of like um what's that? There's like a there's like a show on Netflix that does that. It's like a American Horror Story. It's like that, where it's like every season's basically a different scenario of horror, but uh, in game form. So it's a, it's like every every game's a different, you know, it's like a different take on a different horror thing, but it's in game form. So you get to play it as opposed to watch it. And then Until Dawn was pretty cool because it was like a it was just like a, a com- like a, just a combination of all of them. It was just like a ch- chimera of horror. You had like, well, I'm not gonna say what you had because I don't want to spoil it. But like you had, you had like you know a bunch of different tropes and like themes from different horror things, and it was just it was a fun, it's a fun ride. Not oh, very good. Um, but besides so, that, it's like you know, Cyberpunk 2077 is like top of the list. Really, all I care about, unless we get some PS5 info. That's that's the other thing I'm begging for is like someone to leak the info because it's like I know it's out there. It's like we already <laughs> know it's in November. We have like an ad from playstation on effing youtube that's like playing they just sent out like the email thing of like you know get first details on price and pre-orders and it's like i sign up for that so it's like I, i'm pretty sure if it's not out in the wild 
it will not we will not get to the end of September and not know the press. It's 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 gotta be out there. Someone someone's gonna know and I have a feeling someone's gonna leak it. I mean I'm, I guess I don't I don't have a feeling, but it's like I'm hoping someone does because I need I need that in my life. I need I need more details and so it's just like not gonna tell us. And then but then that's the other thing, is like, you know, if you saw the uh, TK thing or the effing Activision with like the Call of Duty thing, is like some publishers are going to charge seven dollars for the games. So it's like I think this is why they sat on all their info because they didn't want to just like put a pin in their balloon on like blowing up their whole oh guys we got this sweet thing coming out but on the other hand prices are going up dude sorry so yeah oh yeah so um the important thing <laughs> is, th is that y you're you're gonna wait till november you got nothing else to do i thought you're moving in november I don't know when I'm moving. I'm moving when my lease is up, which I think is like after the the end of the year. But then, it's whatever, dude. I, that's the other thing I have to do is like get on the phone with like immigration <laughs> in Canada <laughs> to get my whole yeah. thing set up. So I'm most that's likely right. going to do that sometime next month or soon. Okay. Yeah. Yes, because you, you have to start cleaning your you cleaning your apartment so you can get your deposit back. Now, how long have you lived in that apartment for? A long time. Uh. I want to say at least eight years. Are you going to miss the nacho cheese smell? <laughs> Shut up. Now, I, it's so basically, where did you live before that? I lived with my grandparents. Oh, good. Okay. So that's helped save some money. That's good. So now you have this big mattress full of money. <laughs> and, and, and so are you going to take it out of the mattress now, or are you just going to just uh, put the mattress on top of the car and drive it? Why would or are you, are, are you going to go? Are you going to get a motorcycle? don't have a mattress full of money okay okay but you have enough money to buy a, a motorbike and and take it take to the trails get a dirt bike <sighs> why so therefore, would i do that well if they don't let you through the border for what because you're american right <laughs> and you then you can get on a you can get on your uh motor you can get on trails and you just take the trails across the border and just say oh i made it over now <laughs> finders keepers i'm over here now and you, just, and you know, you just drive to Ontario, and I'll adopt you. And then they can't, and they can't send you back. So there you go. Or, or in a wacky movie way, you find some woman to marry you for for to, so you can stay in the country. That, that's not happening. Well, you can work your magic. I don't know. You never know. You never know. You just say you're American. You have a mattress full of money. That's enough to get some people interested. And they say, hey, how you doing? Where's your mattress? <laughs> Anyways, so uh, other than that, we're at the end of summer. Uh, how did you enjoy your summer? Uh, well, I've kind of been cooped up <laughs> in my apartment all summer. Yes. So yeah. It's kind of been like solitary yeah. confinement. So I guess I but went crazy. Think, but I didn't. I don't but, know. It was like being mm -hmm. in prison, but not. Mm, you started choking people on video games. <laughs> um, you're the one that started that. Thank you very much. You're the one I that grabbed me first. I I just went I just went for a hug because I missed you, and then also you turn around and start choking me, and then you start laughing about it as you're choking me. I'm going, hey, what's what's going on here? I thought we were friends. And I was like, <laughs> I was defending myself because I didn't know what you were doing. Yeah, no. If I it, trust me tonight, if we're, if we're still out there, get ready. <laughs> I'm just warning you ahead of time. You think you can choke me and get away with it? There you go. You're gonna get. You're gonna get a little bit of payback tonight if I show up. If I'm not watching Tenant at the uh, at the drive-in, which is my major. There's a thunderstorm coming through uh, here in the afternoon, so I got to see if it's gonna be. If it's later, you can't really watch them. I watched Ghostbusters in during a thunderstorm uh you know 30 years ago it wasn't that great but um but but you remember that kind of stuff is that you're at the drive-in you're watching ghostbusters and it's thunderstorming around you but uh this one i gotta see if it's not thunderstorming then i will definitely uh, if it's thunderstorming i'll be here if it's not thunderstorming i'll try my best because it's been 25 years or so since i uh since i w i went went to the drive-in theater back in my hometown so wow. that's my plan that's long so time. it is the last time i went to the drive-in here was it was a while for sure i don't think it was 25 what, what, years what, though. what did you see i honestly don't remember yeah don't, don't be the guy who uh, sends kids to go see like a horror movie at the drive-in and it turns out to be one of those uh 
uh, of movies. I sent I sent these two uh, girls from work. It was around October. I said, "Oh yeah," and I heard on the radio, "Hey, there's they're doing a horror movie driving kind of thing, right?" And I said, "Okay." And so the, the, these girls who were working there, they were interested in. in oh, I, yeah. So I said, hey, so I told them, "Hey, this is a uh, horror movies. Go see it." You like it at the drive-in or theater. They might do some stuff to scare you. They're making a big deal of it. Well, it turns out to be these horror movies were the kind of, that uh, that were um, uh, uh, semi-pornographic. <laughs> but I shouldn't say that. NC-17 uh, versions. Like, these are old 80s horror movie kind of schlocky kind of stuff. So it's like, so, yeah. And so the, I had to hear about this. So I said I said to the girls, hey, how are your movies? How was, the, how was the movie? And I was told, yeah, you send us to pornography. I went, ah, oh, jeez. And I didn't even mean to. But, this, but yeah, they said, so the, it was uh, were, the werewolf of the SS was, the werewomen of the SS was one of them. I said, I didn't, I just heard there's horror movies. But yeah, so if you ever have time, Google that and just see what kind of movie I sent uh, uh, teenage girls to. Yeah, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. But yeah, so that was fantastic. Uh, so let's see. And so, uh, how how's your buddy Trump doing? Not my buddy. And, he's gonna um, be he's gonna be talking tonight, isn't he? He's been talking every night. I think I don't know. I've been watching. I watched the. I didn't. Okay, I didn't watch. Okay, there's like a there's like a there's like a YouTube channel I I, I watch and follow, and like they were doing like a watch along thing with it, and it's like so they they did DNC and they're doing RNC, and I did like. I tried to. Watch, I watched like some of the first night, but I was like, "Dude, I'm not watching the rest of the, like the rest of the stuff." Like this week, this week, I'm just like, I can't, I can't, like just. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Ugh. Yeah, just make... No thanks. Ilsa, She Wolf of the SS, 1975 trailer. That was it. <laughs> yeah. How was I supposed to know? That's my question. How was I supposed to know? Anyways, so yeah, so the NBA is starting to look like it's uh, shutting down. I guess the Lakers and the uh, Clippers have decided to protest. I don't know if that's official yet because all the other teams have decided to stick around. But it looks like because of everything that's happening, that there's a saying, "Screw it, boycott the rest of the season," which I agree with totally because something's got to be done down there. There's too much, too much idiocy. When a 17-year-old child has a gun, uh, that's uh, or an AK-47 or whatever you had, then that's uh, that needs to be addressed and quickly, for sure. Well, people want to know why we have school shootings. There you go. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Amen. Anyways, uh, back on the topic. Uh, so you're still not going to uh, put your beard on the line against me and everybody's golf. No. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I mean, if and, I did, I wouldn't shave it. If I lost, I'd be like, I'm not shaving it. You can just grow, you'll have it grown back by uh, by November. Hair is like a natural like defense against germs, dude. I can't shave this off in COVID season. Sorry. I, I thought I thought hair was a natural. It, it stays on you if you had hair. Um, it sticks to the fibers, if you will. I think it, it it's like a filter, dude. It's like it's supposed to keep things out. Do you have hair across your mouth? No, not all the way. There you go. Then how's it a filter? Now, the only thing a beard is good for, well, it filters the food when you're eating and you get crumbs on your beard. You know, that kind of stuff. I get that. But but uh, COVID, I'm not sure, sure about that. That's okay. Has anybody knocked on your door lately besides the food people? Besides the food people? No. Yeah. No, how is your how is your apartment? So is your apartment like in the middle between two apartments, or are you on like on a corner, or? <laughs> where... <laughs> I don't even know how to answer that, dude. I guess I'm on well, the interior. You're in the interior, so you have a, an apartment on the one side of you and an apartment on the other, right? Uh, so you're, you're you're like a sandwich. I'm not like a sandwich, but I'm not on the corner or the outside. Okay, so so if there's people making noises on either side of you, then you're stuck. I mean, good in neighbors? my building, I am on the, like, outside, because the sun is facing me. Or not the sun is facing me, but, like, when the sun rises, it's, like, it's always, like, if I if I didn't have my blinds closed, it would just be beaming me in the face. Mm. So, so do you have good neighbors? Uh, I guess. 
I don't know them, so... Uh. I mean, well, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know these people. Whatever. Why are you asking? <laughs> um, I am. I'm just. I'm interested in your life. You're a very interesting individual. You're obsessed with destroying me in Fall Guys, and uh, obsessed. You, you, you say, "Hey, look at this! I beat you!" Hey, remember that time we were in finals? And then, yeah. So you're you're obsessed. So that's okay. That's okay. I'll win a crown. I just brought it up because you brought it up, dude. You're the one bringing it up. That's true. And I was like, and then, hey, that didn't happen. And, 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 I, I, and, and then when I made it to the finals, you choked me. So it, <laughs> we were in the finals. I was, but we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. And all of a sudden, I went to hug you because we're, hey, we're, we won 9 nothing, which I've never seen a game like that ever, that we smoked another team by that much, right? I've never seen a game like that before. And so I went to hug you because you're my buddy and we made it to the finals. And then you started choking me. <laughs> You're like, the one that brought that up. You're like the one like, that they were like, "Where are like, oh, we talking to each other?" <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like it's like it's like you you you're full on. It's it it's a it's only it's a team of sixty. It's a game of sixty people, but only one person can win. So yeah, I'll take you along for this ride for as long <laughs> as I can. But first chance I get, I'm knocking you out. And that was what and and that and and you're telling me that as the air was escaping my lungs, it was like. <laughs> I only need you to get through this, and then it's uh, whatever after that. Oh, maybe somebody somebody needs to do that. They, they need to make like a sixty-player Hunger Games. Like you're you're on teams, and then at the very end you kill each other. It's like yeah, there you yeah. go. Yeah. Well, they do do that. They call it Call of Duty, kind of. <laughs> except there's teams, but then you t you should it, that should be a game. You, you you have a shooting game, right? So all of a sudden you play different rounds. So therefore you have like say. 15 on each side. Oh, yeah, if it was, like, structured the same as Fall Guys, it's, like, every yeah. round. Yeah. yeah. And, and, then, and, then, and then those 15 pass it along, and then they then they break it up. And, and just, uh, let's say we make it even. 32, 32. So 16 and 16, and 8 and 8, and 4 and 4, then then 2 and 2 and 1 and 1, right? So there you go. All the way through. Or, make it simple. You start at 16, 16, 8, 4, and then the final two, right? So four rounds. But they do different levels, right? And it's all random. Excuse me. It's all randomized, right? So therefore, you break it down like that. I think that would be perfect. I think that would be perfect. What do you think? Mm, I mean, it could work. It would be interesting. I mean, I, I honestly, that's like one of my gripes about Fog Guys, though, is like the team events. So it's like, I don't know if I want to be on teams the entire time, except for the end. But that okay. like whole mechanic of like if you get to the end you have to kill your teammate. I like that. <laughs> I just think that's a funny twist. You know, the best part is that's you why take like, Fall Guys is like you're on teams if you're playing with your friends, but then you get to the final. It's like now only one of us can. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That can be right? only one. Yeah, exactly, and then all of a sudden you start choking people. Yeah. I'll say Tekken. Let's just have this round just with knives, and you say, <laughs> "Okay, buddy." And so we're rocking around. <laughs> And I'm chasing you, and, I, uh, and I'm about to get you with my knife. You turn around with your gun, you shoot me in the head. I go, well, I thought we said just knives. Oh, sorry. Last man standing. <laughs> and then he starts choking me. <laughs> While well, I'm down on the ground, he starts choking me. Uh, anyways. Well, that was a very good chat. I'm glad that we got a lot of our aggression out. Uh, <laughs> so that if I'm playing tonight, you won't be attacking me and all that. So that's good. So. I'm very happy with that. I was happy. Nine nothing. We had that game, and then all of a sudden you turn around and you start choking me. I was like, dude, you're the one that grabbed me first. Yeah. And I was trying to get away, and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do the same thing to you. <laughs> one of my favorite moments. And Gap <laughs> history. Okay. What was your okay? So playing on Gap nights. Give me your top three favorite moments. Oh, dude, I. I would. I, it's been a long time, man. Like, I only have like glimpses and like brief flashes of like e olden times, like so calm. That was always great. Or just like the just the randomness of just like the weirdness of everybody being weird and just like the shenanigans. Mm -hmm. Um, SSX three, just because I was like super good and like always won, except for like that one time when like someone was at my door and I had to like go and get it, and then you know result in the lost whatever. 
Did, did you choke? Did you choke the guy at the door? I was knocking. I did not choke the guy at the mm. door. That's that's kind of like your motive. So it's your modus operandi. That's okay. Number three. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to think because like all I can like I'm just like drawing a blank. Cause, like all I can think of like after that is like Monster Hunter because it was like a thing back in the day. But then it's like I don't know if I have any like really awesome. I mean that one time we killed Fatalis because I hadn't killed it before and it was like a really cool fight. But uh. I mean, it wasn't a cool fight. It was a very boring fight, honestly. But it was a cool to like that, that like what happens in that fight is pretty cool. If you haven't seen it before, like I finally got to see it because I could never, yeah, yeah, never, never, never done it. So Dagger and Jr. Helped, walked me through it. And it was a, it was a nice, easy victory. Cause very nice. Things. So that was cool. But uh, yeah, do you have a top okay. three? Yes, uh, let's go with top uh, number three was uh, me playing uh, Inky version on Tiger Woods. That was fun, uh, especially when my wife comes down. She's she's the tattooed woman I'm playing against, and she's going, who the heck's that? Um, number two, I would say, uh, let's say honorable mentions. I'll put honorable mentions. Uh, that was a Warhawk. The fun times I had playing Warhawk. Um, then uh, number two would be the entire SOCOM Saturday night. Every every week was fantastic. If it wasn't for you in, down in the bowels of abandon with women, you know, that's one thing. And then uh, and then all the team killing and all the uh, and how many times I spent talking to people on the on the chat. Um, also, I rate that to be number one because that was the f the the first. I was part of the first ever Gap Game Night on SOCOM with uh, Ruckus, Ink, and Blacklight. That was nice, and my headset didn't work. Amazingly enough, look how much we've traveled in time there on that. <laughs> <laughs> and and my headphones weren't working. Um, and that's a good, uh, yeah. The more things change, the more they stay the same. And then, of course, number one uh, with a bullet. My my ultimate uh, gap memory is uh, when Ch Tekken was ch choking me <laughs> on Fall Guys. My my show of love and uh, and he turned around and he just started choking me and then we just went around in circles choking each other. <laughs> well, if you're gonna choke me, then I'm gonna choke you back and then we just went around and around choking each other out. But there you go. <sighs> so is this hurricane gonna come and kill you? Uh, it's not. I mean, not that I know of, but. Eh, it's it is weird. It could you know, it's a it's it's a force of nature, so anything could happen. Category one as it moves towards Arkansas, so I think you are safe. Because you're not anywhere near Arkansas, are you? Uh, not directly. It's like to the north. Well, I am to the north e west of Arkansas. Okay, so yeah, so it has made landfall overnight in Louisiana as a category four, and now weakened to a category one as it moves towards Arkansas. So there you go. Just a little weather thing for you. So that's good. Other than that, I think we're good then, my friend. Did we save the universe today? I guess, because we're not dead. So, yay. Wow. <laughs> I, I, we need an outro. I had one the first one, the first week, but then I just like, completely forgot about it. So, you know, it's yeah. whatever. Katy Perry gives birth to a baby girl named uh, Daisy Dove Bloom. Are you just like reading off a website or something? Yep. I just want your reactions to this. I don't Snoop, care about Snoop dude, Dogg. I have, like a, I have like a whole, a whole pet peeve of like I, I cannot, I cannot stand the celebrity worship in okay. in society. It is. I wasn't. It is like I wasn't worshiping. Worst, I one of the I, worst things of just like I open up my browser and then there's like air quote news section is like not really air quote news because it's oh. Celebrity XYZ, this thing, or famous person XYZ, this thing. It's like, okay, how does this affect me and my day-to-day -day life? It does not. This is just some public figure and, like, something that happened to get clicks or whatever. And it's like, what the F, man? Like, this is not important at all. This does, this does not deserve the the highlight or the the whatever. It doesn't, or the spotlight. It's just, like, it's just, there's just some person and something happened to them. And it's, like, not of like importance so it's like but because they're like you know someone that is in the public view and that will drive traffic to the site or the article or whatever ad revenue mm, let's okay. let's publish a story about it or let's whatever whatever so just ugh, yeah just i can't can't do it can't do it can't do it like the whole the whole concept of paparazzi disgusting it's effing leeches vulture 
parasite people that should just like go away and just like can't just like that the, the fact that that's a thing is just like disgusting and just like just disgust disgust me to new one and like i can't like just i can't stand those people and they like need to like get real jobs so f them uh snoop dog launches wine label saying you are what you drink there you go uh how's bernie sanders doing he's dude <laughs> that's a whole <laughs> I mean, okay, I'm going to answer that because I don't want you to have your whole little, like, ha, 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 I protein in the eye of the podcast. But, um, <laughs> you know, he, he is, uh, you know, not being a bit too neutral because he's not willing to, uh, to um, what's that word called? Um, what's that thing when you endorse? He's not willing to endorse a progressive candidate in the race against Kennedy. And it's like, what's that? What they have, man? What, what happened to me? Not not me, us. Hmm? 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 Progressive, mm-hmm. Pro- progressive values. Progressive, progressive team. You know, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta stand together, man. Can't just let let the corporate dims and like the moderates, with all their money and spending, 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 just you know, take 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 the uh, you know house seats that are up for grabs that we gotta get so we can have power or influence, I should say, because because <laughs> man, I am I am just. Ah, see, you said that, and I'm just like, I am like infuriated now because that's like just like it like it triggered in my brain of like how I'm upset, and now it's like you know, oh, four years of Biden, and then it's gonna be possibly eight years of Kamala, which is like twelve years of neoliberal rule, which is like gonna be effing garbage, and it's just like, oh man, we were we were we were so close of like getting things that would have like actually helped people in their day to day lives, and now it's like we got nothing because it's like, hey, guess what? DNC three days. What what policies did we really talk about? Oh, nothing. Just you know, I'm not Trump, so that's that's better than anything. Which was like the whole the whole point of the primary was like that could have been anybody. It could have been at the, like the, the lowest bar, effing on earth at the core of the planet. And it's like we get Joe effing Biden, and he's like, yeah, not gonna go too far left. Not gonna do anything too crazy. Not gonna shake things up. Just status quo. Things the way things they are totally fine then things that aren't i'm not gonna give any specifics but uh please be excited i'm joe biden whatever now after that does it make you want to choke anybody no it doesn't because i'm not a violent person good just make me angry make me really angry and just furious and just uh, this year's been so exhausting it's just like it just it's like uh just like i'm going on a tangent i don't care whatever because like effing like after at the primaries, it's like I was I I signed up to like so many different newsletters or whatever for like political things, and it's like it never ends. It's just like a constant stream of like nightmare fuel of like things I did not know about that were just like broken that are like not getting fixed ever. And it's just like hmm, that's great. Um, can't wait to leave, so I don't have to worry about that anymore because I don't know I won't live in this country. So it's like yeah, just just more motivation I guess to get the F out because it's all falling apart slowly but surely because nothing's getting done. Nobody's, nobody's coming to save you. That that sound that you hear, that, that silence, or I guess you just say that sound you can't hear because it is silence, sound of nobody coming to save you because it's not going to be the government and you're probably not good enough or well enough off to do anything about your whatever ails you in your struggle, daily struggle on the struggle bus that we all ride. So, you know, good luck with that, but, uh, you know, probably, probably not. So whatever, whatever. Enjoy that. Ugh. F in 2020, man. Also, happy, also a couple oh, episodes ago, oh. before we renamed the podcast, Buff was like, "Oh man, Black Lives Matter. Things are going to get better." They didn't get better. They've they've they kind of gotten worse. I don't think they're going to get better. But it's like you know, I guess I'll just wait and see because it's like I don't think they will. But it's like hmm, I'd like to be proven wrong, but I don't think I will. So it's like yeah, awesome. Well, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully and I, in like many, many years from now. As but it's like, I how about how about now? How about how about sometime this week? How about today? How about tomorrow? How about not having to wait weeks, months, years? Or but then it's like, oh, but, but ah, I, I, okay. I'm just gonna stop because I'm just gonna go on a whole diatribe about Mitch McConnell and how I hate him and how I just wish bad things upon him and just want bad things to happen to him and just I don't like that guy. He's a terrible person. He's just like e- evil. He's not not quite evil incarnate, but it's like you know, just when you're in the position to like do things for people and help them and make things better, but you don't. You're a terrible person. He's a terrible person, and I can't stand him. I can't effing stand him and just <laughs> makes me so angry. Sorry. But, okay, okay, I'm just gonna stop. I'm gonna stop because I'm just gonna go whole whole rant. Whole rant, whole diatribe, whole thing about the GOP and their whole silence and 
at the yeah, which was like enabling Captain Orange, and it's just like yeah, you know, just how how did that work out the last three years? And they're like, oh man, it was so great. Three more three more years of it, yes. And they're like, their ads are like, oh man, if you, if you're in Joe Biden's America, this is gonna happen. But it's from Trump's America, so it's like that's that doesn't even make sense. Just. It's like, yeah, you know, the, the terribleness that we have now. Three more years of that. Hope you enjoy it. Ah, it's just so... Ah, ah, ah. See, now you get that all out of your system. It's not out of my system because it's like, it, it, that's a daily occurrence when I just look at the news and it's like, oh, what what do you do today? What 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 could what could possibly be worse than the last time? I, I, th I left this yesterday of like, oh, that was pretty bad. Oh. What could, what could be wrong? Huh? Oh, well, you know, it's been, you know, like three months or something since Brian Terry got murdered by police and they haven't been arrested. They got fired, but they, 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 can, they can walk free. Walk free because it's like, what's the matter, right? It's like, oh, no knock warrant. What's up with that? Huh? I don't have to want to knock, knock on your door. I can just shoot. Oh, oh, yeah. Whatever. I remember not to say the name Bernie Sanders anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Except, you know, when we're ah, playing. Ah, yeah. effing, ah, just. We're so close. We're so effing close, and it's just like, oh, just, just like, yeah. It's just like garbage Medicare, and it's just, yeah, just like, oh, now they're, they're millions and millions unemployed, and they have no health insurance. So it's like, hmm, have fun with that. What, how wasn't that a great idea? The greatest idea ever to like, just, you know, just like link it to your employment. Just like, oh yeah, you know, on top of the, uh, oh, what was that called? I can't think of it now. The stupid thing that you pay that they don't pay anymore. But it's like, it was a thing to like pay for, but whatever. Wah not being out whatever 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 i mean that 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 being said last three years i've learned a lot of things so it's like you know i used to be like what's the deal with that what's up with that but now i know okay it's like yeah so i said this i said this a while ago but i still i mean it's whatever i'm not gonna say it but it's like yeah it's just it's just annoying dude it's just annoying it's like i'll just i'll just say it in this the whole thing the whole spiel i'm on right now is like i just i just have like really disgust for the two-party system it's like a failed system man it's just like you know if you watch the um I can't ever think of the stupid name of that show, but like the the Hassan Minaj thing on Netflix, it's like a perfect episode. Talks about the whole thing of like plurality versus majority, and like you know, yeah, what we got now, really really garbage. Like just like the whole, it just it just makes you hate the other side and be like, no matter how bad the person on my side is, I'm still gonna be with them because they're not of the other side. And it's like no, that's not how it should work. Just ah, which is just the entire like DNC last week was just that was that. It's just like. It just, it just, it just like there's, there's no policies, like no principles, no flipping ideas. Like, come on, man! Like, throw me a flipping bone here of like, to like, <laughs> it's like I don't want to carry any water for you because I can't stand you, and now, I'm not, and now I don't have to because like you just didn't give me anything. But like, it's like in the darkest timeline that we are in, it's like the time of need. It's like I would need to like have something to like you know latch onto to be like, all right, Joe, I know, I know you can do it, I know you can do it, and even if you don't, I know Kamala maybe. It's like no, just the whole. I'm not. I'm not Trump, so that's good enough. It's like no, that's not good enough. Just ah. I mean, technically it is, but it's like I need more than that. But I don't, cause I don't have a choice. So thanks for shoving it down my 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 mouth and throat, DNC. I hope you're happy for the uh, you know the I will never forgive you for that Super Tuesday screw job. Kind of like the Montreal screw job for for the hitman. Uh, oh, look so, at you, know, you! Look at you! I'll think of it like that for the rest of my life. Of like why I'm, why, why I will always be an independent. And every Democrat, definitely not a Republican, because it's a little, that's never going to happen. So. That Stay the course. That would be weird. Stay the Take deep breath. Find your serenity. <laughs> and then you're good. Perfect. See, thanks to you, well, I'm going to, like, order some, like, flipping, like, junk food off of Instacart now to, like, or I'm going to be like, angry all day long and just, like, good. shove it in my mouth and just be good. like, I'm just, like, angry. Angry all day. And just, like, Eating junk food all day because it's all your fault. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Buff. It's all your fault. Okay. You only live once, buddy. You only live once. Enjoy that food. I wish I, I wish I like knew a, a politician I could like say to like, like trigger you because I can't just be like, oh yeah, well, Justin Trudeau because like I would, I would like, I would like in an instant take Justin Trudeau over who we have now. So it's like I can't say that. So you better be glad that you have like a decent, or like I guess not decent. Mm -hmm. You need to wear black yeah. but like you know, yeah. at least you have like yeah, a better there. person. Than we have, so I can't really knock you. So, for now, that's right. Okay, well, now that you've gone crazy, I think it's time to sign off. 
<laughs> we need to come up with an outro for this. What, what would you, you said something the first week of like, didn't we save save the universe or something? And I was like, yeah, yeah. we did. Yeah, how, how did we save the universe? I can't like, remember. It was like, I think you said like, did we save the universe? And I was like, yeah. And then you're like, yeah, we're safe for now. I was like, yeah, we are or something. Whatever. Well, we'll come up with something, listeners, if you're still listening after that whole political rant. But yeah. Well, especially the FBI, if you're still listening. <laughs> oh my gosh. There you go. You got more pressing concerns than this man ranting, but he's a close second. There you go. Uh, Tekken, did we save the universe today? We sure did. With our power, the power of our friendship. Oh. Our power of the friendship, absolutely. Even though you like choking me in video games. But that's okay. It's a choke of love. No, that sounds weird. That's okay. <laughs> Anyways. Choke of love. That does sound choke weird. Of love. That, that does sounds... Sound. I'm not going to say what I'm thinking. Hmm. There, you, there you go. Exactly. All right, good sir. Well, uh, you bid us adieu then. All right, so yeah, until you see or hear from us again, thanks for watching and listening, and we're now signing off. You've been saved.